Hello everybody, yes it's with ya, and welcome back to another video on the Twin Plays channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about making a new Rebirth GUI, just like this one right here. So, kind of following our last videos, talking about our index and our shop, and then now going into our Rebirth GUI. So, the final GUI for your Steel of Brain Rock game, basically. Um, it's almost finished, but yeah, so it looks exactly like this and it works exactly like, like how Steel Brain Rock was. So, so yeah. let's get right into this video and we're gonna hop right into Studio. All right, everybody. So now that we are in Studio, we are basically, oh my God, they changed the UI. Okay, well, that's... That's going to be great for me. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so now that we are in studio, uh, of course, uh, I want to just talk about how we're going to get the model. So um, if you're in the you know channel membership, you get all the scripts and everything through Discord. Um, it comes with everything in it. So you know, feel free to join you guys. I really appreciate you guys. And we kind of been talking through here as well. But yeah, you have the model in here. It comes with all the scripts. But if you want to join the Discord, I as well always put the uh, models through here. But um, of course... As so, it's going to be in the description. It's just a link to the Roblox uh, Creator Store. It's very simple to get. You just click download or, you know, open in studio, whatever's easier for you. And you should be able to get this into your game. Okay, so once you're in your studio, now, guys, you do have to be following the tutorials. Um, like I said, Index, this is part of it. Um, you go watch the Index video because um, we kind of talked about some things. I think it should work either way, but you might miss some things, but you should be okay. So, okay, going into this, <laughs> go to Toolbox and uh, just click your inventory and you're going to import this into your game so importing this is pretty simple um it's actually just a new gui so uh if i were to click play it'd show you the old one but yeah basically in here we have the rebirth gui all we're going to do is just delete it you're just going to delete it as simple as that and then you're going to put this into starter gui just like that okay now um if you did have a custom real quick if you did have a custom button just drag your custom button from your old one into the new one okay it's very very simple to do it should work exactly the same way as long as they have the same name okay um, so yeah, going into that, uh, we do need to script a few things, which I talked about in the readme, but I guess I didn't really put that down. But I'm just going to go quickly through some here's, uh, through here real quick. So we have a function detach spinner, we have a attached thing model. You can change these values right here if you want to make it look a little different with the model that shows, which I'll talk about. Um, we have a get function, we have a function right here for get own counts. We have the update money bar, which I actually just fixed right now that does the green thing. So by the way, that's fixed. Um, and then we have an update required characters, uh, create unlocked items. So this kind of goes the money multiplier time, all that stuff. And then we have update unlockables, which we're going to talk about. We have update rebirth and then we have can rebirth. So can they rebirth basically? And then we have a rebirth button activated. So this just checks if they can rebirth, if they can't, then they're not gonna be able to rebirth. Um, but once they do and they can rebirth, we're going to fire to the server, which that goes through the whole scripts and everything with, um, basically allowing you to rebirth. And then this is the open and close button. Very simple. Again, update rebirth every time we open and close the, the frames because we want to make sure we're getting the newest setting and value. And, um, of course, we check right here and we do an animate frame, which we made in animations. This is a close. Exact same thing, just the opposite of what we did for open. And then this is money. So we check when we get the money. Um, we check if it gets changed. So saying the leader stats up here or whatever. If it gets changed, we're going to change the update money bar. We're going to call the update money bar function. Um, same goes right here, rebirth uh, value. If this gets changed, we're going to update the rebirth uh, you know, frame. Um, and then right here, this is the live updates right here. So we'll talk about this, which this is just the slots of the update required characters. So we're getting the things and we're adding them, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we need to script something. So we're going to be scripting the update unlockables. Now, this is a little bit of a longer script. I'm not going to lie with you guys. Um, like I said, if you want to get this stuff and you don't want to worry about typing at all, then you're going to have to join the Discord um, through there. But very simple enough. We're just going to get straight into this. I'm going to have this on my other screen so I do not screw this up. All right. So going into this, just right where this code is right here. So we're going to script this. So if not next rebirth. So uh, going into this, this is just checking that we are uh, we're not doing the next rebirth. We're going to return the function. Okay. And we're going to go and do a for loop. So we're going to check in i pairs and we're going to go uh items frame get children like this and we're going to go do okay so this is going to create a for loop and we're going to go inside the item frame which i will explain in a bit here but actually we can actually just do this right now so header content and then unlockable and items right here so this frame right here okay in here we are going to do if child and we're going to go not equal to unlock template like this and not and we do child 
is a, and then we're gonna go UI list layout just like this, okay? So we're checking if it's not a UI list layout, and we're gonna get a template. So we're, it's the child is a template, blah blah blah. Then we are going to do a child destroy. So we're gonna make sure that we're not doing anything, but the that the templates, okay? So the templates are the only thing that are in here, which you can see we have a template right here, which I'll talk about later. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do local config equals, and then rebirth, yeah, next rebirth. So just like that. And then we're gonna do is if not config, uh, oop, not like that, sorry. If not config, then return end, okay? We're gonna return, we're good there. And then inside of this, so, um, oh wait, sorry guys, we're not inside of the for loop. Oops, no, 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 oopsies, right here, sorry. Drag this out here, I almost forgot. Yeah, sorry, this is a for loop, we gotta just check through here in the child. We don't need these inside of here because we're not checking for anything inside of there. Okay, so then in here we're gonna do local unlocks, like this, equals config.unlocks or brackets, okay? Just brackets right here, this is gonna be a table. So, unlock switch we'll talk about. But yeah, in the unlocks, okay, so this is where we go through our rebirth GUI. I mean, our rebirth module. So in replicated storage, we have configuration, we have modules, and we have rebirth right here. And you can see we have unlocks. So in here, now this is how your guys should look. It doesn't have to have the exact same values, but we'll talk about this again. Um, you have the multiplier, so how much money is going to be multiplied when they rebirth, the money, how much they're going to get when they rebirth. There's the time, so how much is added to how, many, how much time they have from the lock button. And then they have the floor, of course. And then they also have requirements, which this is where you do the money and the thing, okay? So you can go through that, which I can even update mine again or whatever. And this is where you just type the name. It's super simple. Um, so this is the unlocks, okay? Now, I'm going to explain to you why I wanted to actually kind of type this out for you guys because um, you kind of have to configure it a little bit, and it's up to you. But so we're going to be copying this whole thing right here, and we're going to be making it a bunch. So if unlocks.multiplier, so we have a multiplier right here, right? So if we have multiplier, you know, just if it isn't part of the rebirth, then we're going to do create unlock item. Okay, this is a function we have. And we are going to, this create unlock item is going to run through here. And it's going to display name, raw value, value kind, icon ID. And it's going to create an image label. And it's also going to check the value kind. So is it a multiplier, money, is it time? And this is where we go through when we do certain things for the UI, which I will explain in a bit here. So um, multiplier, we're going to go uh, like this. Sorry, I've got my, like, my language here. And we're going to go unlocks.multiplier. Okay. And we're going to go comma multiplier because that's the value kind and then we're going to go comma and then this is where we do asset id just like this slash slash and zero for now but so yeah so this right here we can actually just go type this out this is the just the yeah item name so item name in the value and then we have the raw value which i will explain and then we have the value kind and then this is the icon okay now as you can tell they all have the four values right here now, going back into this, if you look in the template, we have item image, which is going to be the icon. We have item name, which is going to be this multiplier. And we have item value, okay, um, which is going to be this raw value right here, right? And then, of course, the value kind, which is multiplier is what we're doing. Um, so that's kind of what we're sending through here. So what is this icon? So to do this, now, I didn't think there was a really, honestly, for multiplier, I recommend keeping it zero because you don't want it to show anything like as an icon. You can look through your decals right here and search some things up. I'm going to show you what I mean, though, in a sec here. But all you have to do is command C this or just, you know, copy and paste it. And then you're going to go unlocks.money. And we're going to change all this stuff. So money, 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 just like that. Okay. And then this ID. So unlocks.money, we want to get money. So I'm going to search up money. Uh, You know, actually, I'm going to do cash. Okay. This is what I did for the other one. I'm going to do cash. And I use this one right here. So cash, I like this one. So I'm going to copy this ID over here. Sorry, guys. So import it over here. We're gonna go to the texture. I'll uh, make this a little longer. The texture. And inside the texture, so you can delete that, we're gonna paste this right here in this number, okay? So right in the icon number. And then once that's done, so now you have the icon, which, guys, this value is being replaced in the item image in here in the image value right here, okay? So that is that is what we're doing, is we're changing the item image, which I can't, I'll show you the template and what I mean by this in a second here, but very easy, simple enough. Okay, and then we're gonna go down here and copy again, and we're gonna do uh, time. So we're gonna go time like this, and then this is actually gonna go lock time. So this is the item name is lock time. Now, guys, remember what I mean by item name? You can change that to anything. Like if you wanna just go like money or like cash or like lock time or something, but honestly, just kind of follow what I'm doing. But then this is time because this is the value kind. Now, when it comes to this one, so I'm gonna search up lock. Okay, so if I'm lock, I love this one. This one looks good. It's a vector, it looks good. Grab the texture ID, copy it, just delete that. And then I put this right here and boom, we have time. 
Okay, so I'm just keep going through this. Now, guys, if you have a rebirth and you have something special in here you made, like, you can do that and add it to this. It's very simple. So, uh, dot floor. So, we're going to do floor. Um, and then we're going to go dot floor. And we're going to go floor, floor, just like that. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, actually, no. We're going to do nil. Sorry. We're going to do nil because uh, we don't actually pass through a number right here. You can actually pass through one, but we're going to keep it nil. And then this one, like, honestly, same thing. You can search up floor if you want. It's, like, up to you. I don't think they have a floor. Like, you go tile? I don't know. Uh, let's go, like, pattern or, like... I don't even know like plus one like you just go plus one maybe let's see let's see like like search up just 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 one <laughs> maybe like uh level up i don't know let's go let's search up one maybe that maybe that'll work okay well there's nothing for that so that's harder to do like if you search up i don't know there's it's random stuff so if you want to search up anything like a star or something like i don't know we could like find we could find something and we could do that um all right so okay now we did the floor i, I sorry i paused it for a second there so what we're gonna do now is we have local matching slots okay so local matching slots so extra slots that are um unlocked at the rebirth we're gonna do zero okay we're gonna do four underscore we're gonna go slots oh wait no no let's do slot sorry slot so remember this guys if you're looking you don't want to go like slots because you're checking in a for loop which is just going it's checking a bunch of items like it's grabbing a bunch of items like whatever's inside this thing you technically would call it slot like grammarly i mean your grammar corrected. <laughs> okay, so in I pairs, right? So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go base dot slots, okay? And we're gonna do get children once again, and this is what I mean by we're grabbing things. And we're gonna do do, okay? This is a for loop. Local CFG configuration again. So slot, find first child, just like this. Oh, and then we are gonna go um, configuration, okay? So this is inside the slot and the configurations. Um, you can kind of check this out if you go and explore when you play the game, which I can show this all in a sec here. And then we're going to do local rebirth value like this equals CFG find first child. Sorry, freaking typing. And then we're going to go rebirth and we can go if rebirth value um, just like this. And oh my God, I'm just like copying paste this guys. I hate my typing dot value <laughs> and we're gonna do equals next rebirth oh right here and for next rebirth you can you're gonna just do your yeah you'll just do it then i thought it was a value but no okay and then you're gonna go matching slots plus equals one okay just like that so that's where we just double check your slots and the rebirth value we're good here now if matching slots is greater than zero okay then so we're just checking it's greater than zero create unlock item the same thing slot comma matching slots comma and we're gonna go nil and we're just gonna go and just do a random id you could also just go like right here and go like this um i honestly will set it to zero for now which that's fine okay so that's just uh just making sure if there's you know no value we'll just uh do the thing okay so in here one more thing to do for tool name comma tool config in i pairs once again um, no, actually this time we're doing pairs. Sorry. We're going to do pairs here. Okay. So, um, it's kind of hard to explain how those work. I honestly don't even know the best way of explaining them. Um, to be honest, I honestly don't even remember how, why we do them, but, uh, that's me. So <laughs> don't, 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 don't flame me. Don't flame me. Don't flame me. Okay. So the create unlock item right here. Okay. And we're going to go tool name, comma, nil, comma, nil, comma, tool config dot icon. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's because when we use pairs, we're doing tools, which is just a like a string value or it's just checking like an object versus these ones, which are like integer values and stuff. I don't remember. Um, but this is actually like, and we're checking tools, by the way, this is like a folder. So I'm guessing that also could be a thing, but okay. Just looking through here. Um, well, no, actually this is wrong. We're checking the tool config, which is the tools. So I'm um, looking at this, sorry. Um, when we do the tools, you know, uh, right here. So, guys, when I'm explaining this, what I mean by this is on the item that we're template we're displaying, we don't want to show a text for tools. We, we just want to show the tool name. We don't want to show the numbers or anything. It's tool name and icon. That's all we want to do. And that is what I mean by in here. You have the icon and you have the name, which is just this. Okay? So, I hope that makes sense. Um, and you're good. So, everything is done on that part. Now, I'm going to actually click play and pray this works. Okay? So, everyone just bear with me. Click play. Hope it works, because if it doesn't work, we're screwed. I'm just kidding. No, we're fine. All right. Oh, my God. I have so much money. Okay. So, there we go. So, explaining once again. 
So you will unlock six. You have a slap right here. You have a floor. You have a lock time and you have money. Okay. It looks really good. You have your things. It shows you what you need to unlock. You have the rebirth and you're good. So actually I technically can rebirth right now because I have the thing. So if I rebirth, boom, I rebirth. And now it shows we have our, um, yeah, we have our first rebirth. I got the second floor now. And, um, we have the uh, lock time, money, gold slap is what I'll lock, unlock on the next one. So if I do that, I actually can grab my thing. So I'll grab one of these. It should unlock it for me, but I'll go to the shop as well. Um, I also probably will remake this, by the way, guys. I mean, this one's not too bad, but we kind of wanted to follow the theme of these. So I'll probably redo these, but you guys kind of get the point here. Um, so we have the shop right here. So now uh, gold slap is rebirth too, right? So if I go and I have enough, I'll rebirth resets we have the values down here 1 billion is the next one you need a thing again and then you should go to shop and it should unlock for you and i have my gold slap boom awesome i don't have an animation id so that kind of sucks but yeah there you go so now you kind of get the point of how this works oh my gosh my lucky block so so cool okay so yeah that's about it you guys i hope you kind of got it and everything i want to make sure everyone you know if you have any errors or issues just comment let me know in the description um, I'm sorry you guys have to code all this stuff. I, it's just part of the channel and the way I do things now. Um, like I said, if you join the membership, everything's there for you guys. And I post as much as I can. So it's honestly a good thing to have. And I talk to you guys. So if you need anything, it's a big community we have. And we all love to help each other out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. And I will see you in the next video.